guys and welcome. Pond here with another video for Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. Today in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about class and which class you should choose depending on how far your castle development is. So first of all, let's talk about the basics. What different classes are there and when should you be doing them? So at level 13, you unlock this building here, the class hall. And it gives you these four options of different classes for you to choose. So there is farmer class, raider, trader, or craftsman. And in these classes, you will be an architectural scholar, a siege master, a duchess, or an architect. The other options aren't available as yet. Each class has different benefits and negatives. So let's just quickly look at what those are. For a farmer, in the class traits, you will receive the Farmer's Guild building. Farmer unique building greatly increases resources production and bountiful harvest becomes available for massive resources. Unlock class training ground after the building, which enables an extra legion. Considerable collection when harvesting troop payload is plus 100%. High speed gathering, harvest speed is plus 50%. And you get depot, protect, depot protection. So you, a larger amount of your resources in your castle are protected from plundering if you're raided. What are the negatives to this class? Well, your troop marching speed is minus 30%. When sieging your troop defense is minus 30% and your troop damage will be minus 30%. So you're not going to be doing a lot of damage to your opponents, particularly if you're up against a raider. So let's look at raider and what are the positive and negatives of this class. So for raider, you get the raider's hall building. And it, again, it's a raider exclusive building providing a brand new legion. This legion plunders gold when sieging. So all of these buildings affect your class legion and depending on which class you are, your class legion will take on that trait. So let's have a look at the other options available. So medical advancement, wounded healing speed is plus 100%. First aid, when sieging 40% casualties become wounded. So you've got your losing less soldiers from uh, death they, they just become casualties and go to your tents and when sieging troop payload is plus 150 percent so if you hit another castle and it has resources and gold available there then you're going to be able to maximize your returns on that hit negatives for class trait well when harvesting your troop payload is minus 50 percent so it's harder to hit that ninth box on gathering day mondays Gold production is down by 30% in the economical depression trait and insufficient production. Your lumber, food, marble and iron production is down by 30%. On to the third class, which is trader. So in as a trader, you will get the market building and trader exclusive building enables resource support to alliance members can purchase merchandises with gold. Market econ economy, trading house purchase costs is cheaper by 5%. Logistic planning, troops, food consumption is 30% less. And your gold production is up 50%. Negatives from this class trait, well, your wounded healing speed is slowed by 50%. And when raided, you lose 100% of extra resources. So uh, you'd have to be careful if you're, you're a trader that you don't get hit. Otherwise, you're going to lose a lot of those resources that you've been gathering. Lastly, in the craftsman class. You're going to have the option to save on a structure materials and repair faster. And when building um, advanced technologies will save you time and resources. Now, I just want to give you one example of uh, the difference in traits. So as we as we read there, um, Raiders gold production is um, is minus 30 percent. And. For traders, it gets a buff. So. 
here in my main on the left is my Lord of Pontal account, which is a raider. And if we look on our gold information screen, my hourly production is 85,900. 85, and on the right here is my Maverick C24 main account, which is a trader. Um, and that production is 130,000 an hour. Now, something to note as well is that my mints in my main are all level 25, while the mints in Maverick are between 19 and 20. So um, once if we were comparing like for like, then a level 25 trader is going to have significantly more gold production than a raider. But of course, as a raider, you can actually hit other castles and take gold from them. So whichever class you choose will have a significant impact on how your account behaves and how your resources um, are collated and, and what you're going to have to do to get those resources. So a common question is, which class should I choose and when? So, so initially, as I say, you get the class building at castle level 13, C13. And one good option is that the game allows you to change your class every three castle levels. So you can change it uh, castle level 16, castle level 19, castle level 22, and castle level 25. My advice to you is to start your class as a farmer. The reason for that is the um, at those level, lower levels, you're going to be most certainly gathering um, will be the main source of your resource income. Uh, you're not going to be raiding other castles, mainly uh, because it's very time consuming. Um, you know, with those lower level troops, a T5, uh, it's T5 at castle level 13. So those troop um, speeds are going to take a while and they're not going to have a, a, a massive capacity for gathering. Um, you might not have um, awakened your, your heroes at that point. So you don't have large troop numbers in your legions. So um, the best thing to do is to max out that troop load by being a farmer. So I would say from castle level 13 to castle level 19, as you're trying to develop a lot of buildings in your accounts um, and push for your T7 troops as well and, and the lumber that requires, then you should stay as a farmer. At C19, um, for me, uh, some players do switch then over to trader um, and some players, but some players do stay as farmer. Now, Switching to Trader at C19, what are the benefits? Well, as you can see from the Maverick account, um, you're going to generate a lot of gold. And some major buildings, as you're developing through C19 to C22, um, are going to require significant amounts of gold. Hopefully, as you're um, moving towards C19 to C22, you're going to be quite far into your zone commemoration research, which will hopefully... Uh, be giving you extra resources in rewards um, from the daily Clash of Province reward boxes. And so you shouldn't have such a, a need to be gathering all the time in, in the same manner that you would at the lower levels. Um, also being, uh, you know, unlocking those two seven troops, it gives you a few more options as well um, in how to run run your account. And you can then maybe start raiding people if you wanted as well rather than spending all of the time with the legions gathering. On to C22. Once you reach C22, for me, you have to be a raider from that point onwards. Um, pretty much everyone that I know that plays the game, once they hit C22, they all change to raiders. Um, you know, once you're unlocking those T8 troops, um, depending again how quick your development is, you're going to have a lot more options in terms of the account, other accounts that you can raid. Um, you're going to want that um, increased might and resistance for your class legion that um, being a raider gives. So in my main, let's have a look at the raiders hall. So I have this maxed out at level 25 and that's giving me a 25% boost to my class formation resistance and a 25% boost to my class formation might. Um, while in Maverick, 
I've got him down as a trader still, but I'm as I'm not in him as much. That's why I've kept him as that because I don't actually raid with that account. Um, if you are if you have a main that is at C twenty two or above, then definitely change it to a to a raider. Um, the options in the market that it gives you can select traveling merchant, and you have these options to buy uh, the different items for either gold or diamonds, and you can also then click the trade option and you can trade to other members in your alliance as well. So you click on them and then you can click trade and then you can send them resources if you want, but you it does get taxed at a very high rate, so it's not a great idea. Um, so that is kind of the progression that you want to be doing, guys. That is my advice to you, um, is to go stick with Farmer initially and then switch to trader at c19 and then onto raider at c22 um just a couple of things to note i am talking about main accounts here um if you are looking at what you want your farms to be um then i would suggest that they're that, that as well you you don't want them to be raiders 100 percent sure of that and then you kind of want to look at what you're trying to develop in terms of resources from your farms so if you're really struggling for gold, you will want more farms to be traders. If you're looking for resources, then it's good to keep them as farmers so that you can send them out to gather and they're going to get that increased load, especially on the class uh, class legion. Um, and just in terms of thinking on a, on a larger scale for the betterment of the state, so developing your state chapters, um, most people that I know that have got multiple farms always have at least one farm as an architect in the craftsman class uh, because you'll need those craftsman uh, numbers on their um, on the national quest development um, so that you can unlock the next chapters in the state. Uh, another quick point is in terms of your uh, looking at your class manual in the class hall. Uh, so I'll do another video on this uh, in more detail at a later date, but um just a point to note is that when you change your class you will have to your class manual re will reset and you will have to start again in terms of your national quests um as far as i'm aware if you go if say you chain you started as a farmer went to a trader and then for some reason went back to being a farmer your farm your class manual from when you originally was a farmer would still be there and you can just um replenish it again but if you change class you will have to start again in the class manual and that is really all the basics in terms of which class to choose guys for your main um, i hope you found this video helpful for those players who are developing through the game and please do um, subscribe ring the bell like and place any comments that you have below and i hope to see you all again soon